legs and look like he was fighting some struggle from uh, a little bit of uh, yeah, starting one today and getting a little bit you know, frustrated, but it, it made every big play down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, I think he'll see when uh, Dave shows him film tomorrow. He'll see what the difference was in a lot of those earlier shots in the last two in terms of, you know, his extension and his follow-through. You know, he was short-arming a lot of balls before and his shot was flat and he's going to see those last two getting the ball up in the air. And, and I think that's, you know, just all part of the education. I mean, I think he's doing a, exactly what he should be doing here in the summer. League. You know, just what we talked about. I mean, he's had a lot of chances where he could have just driven the ball to his right hand and scored. But you can see him almost consciously trying to get to his left hand right now, which is probably taking him a little bit out of his rhythm, but but it's good stuff for him to work on. Um, you know, and then he made, I thought, a, a, you know, obviously a great pass at the end to Caleb too to, to win the game. So I, I, I like his approach and how he's, and how he's trying to play. And I, I think hopefully when he looks at film and stuff, it'll just be another learning experience and a chance for him to move forward. Are you glad you acquiesced and, and allowed him to come down here? Yeah, well, I didn't really acquiesce. We just hadn't decided, but Bob, you know, made great points about him playing, and I think it has helped him. And, you know, he's not quite at the point yet with his mechanics um, that he's ready to translate it into a game. You still see the inconsistency, but it's been good for him now. You know, he'll get five games, and he can look at everything, and then we can go back to work, and then he'll have, you know, a week with the USA Select team getting to play, and then we can go back to work after that. So I think it sets up, sets up pretty nicely. He said he, he sensed that defenders ever, but there's no secrets down here, are sitting on his left hand a little bit now. Have you noticed it? Well, I haven't noticed that as much, but but I um, but I do like, I, I really like the way he's playing. Yeah, I do. You know, I like the I like the things he's working on. A lot of times it's, it's hard to do that. You want to go, you're in, a, you're in a setting, it's on TV, you want to play to your strengths, and he's consciously playing to work on things, so... So I like it. Did Henry seem like you were more sure of himself today? I don't think Henry has any problem being sure of himself. I really don't. I, I think the um, one of the things I've been really impressed with is I think he plays a game with great offensive confidence. You know that um, he thinks he can score on anybody. He definitely can create shots for himself, and he's just going to have to shoot the ball more consistently um, than he has. You know, even than he did in college. And I, and I think. I don't think there's anything that um, drastically needs to be corrected, I, but I think there's a couple of tweaks in his shooting mechanics, but we won't get to those while we're here. You know, that's more when he gets back, but a lot of the stuff he does really well, creating shots on that step back, both with his footwork and, his, and the dribble, that, that's tough stuff to teach. So he can already do that, and uh, it's just a matter of, I think for him, really working on the consistency of that shooting stroke. You thought he had an advanced. You thought he had an advanced offensive game yeah. coming in, and he's yeah. he's uh, shown that this week. Yeah, no question. And I think, you know, tough thing when you're playing in the NBA and with a 24 second shot clock is, you know, you're in a lot of situations. Can you get a shot? And uh, and he's clearly able to do that and get makeable shots. His percentage certainly has to go way up. He's got to be more efficient. Um, but again, to me, that's easier than trying to teach a guy to get a shot. And for a jump shooter, too, he finds his way to the free throw line. Oh, no, he gets to the free throw line, yeah, no question, because he can put it on the floor and and uh, and make plays. So, um, yeah, he's gotten to the line fine, and he shot them well until those last two today. So, that yeah. Little, that little one footer he had was late in the clock. Huge, and had to take it. huge. Dirk, yes. Yeah, it was. I mean, that's exactly what it was, is that, you know, Dirk-like step back. Now. Dirk shoots a high percentage on that. So there's one thing to be able to get the shot off. It's another to knock it down on a consistent basis, and that's what I'm saying. I mean, we need some tweaks, nothing major, but some tweaks to his uh, shooting mechanics, and uh, and I think he can get there. But I, I, I'm really happy with his, uh, his offensive approach and where I think he can get to. You came here uh, hoping to see Benajay and whether he could fill a third slot, and then it... Lorenzo Brown comes in here and he's played really, really well. Yeah, I know he's played really well. Um, probably over the three games, been been our best player. So, um, you know, he's certainly uh, making his case, no question about it.
Um, when you talk back to Ellison, when he drives, he also seems to have this knack of being able to get his shot off at awkward angles. Yeah, like, no, uh, that's exactly like, right. He's a sh It's like it, natural. It is, and, and he has a real knack for being able to find shots. The, the you know, again, he's, he's got to make a higher percentage. I mean, I think he's shooting probably mid twenties here, 25, 26 percent for the week, and then it's going to have to get it's going to have to get better than that, clearly. But but you know, he can do some things uh, to get shots, and and I think over time, he's got a real high release, which allows him to get it off. He's got a great follow through. You know, the rotation on his shot's not real good, and we'll get that figured out and get him working on it. And he's a, a total gym rat. I mean, that's so I don't think it'll take a hell of a lot of time. There aren't a lot of four men coming out as 19-year-olds who were as much a part maybe of this college's offense as he was last year. Are we seeing some of that in that? Well, yeah, and especially, you know, what you're seeing a lot, right, is, is you, see the, you see the stretch fours who are basically – just pick and pop guys, not so much guys who can get their own shot and play off the dribble and things like that. So his shooting's got to improve to to be able to really stretch the floor. But, but what he has is that element of, of being able to put the ball on the floor and get a shot. He can sort of face up in that mid post area and jab step and create shots. Um, yeah, I, I think he's got a lot of a lot of really good things to work with so you know it just you know he's 19 years old you know it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit of time but again even shooting mechanics getting more consistent there and then obviously the defensive end of the floor has got to get a whole lot better